You know, art has been something that's always been a part of my life. Uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but you know, growing up, my parents always took me to museums, things like that. You know, they always said, "Do what you love more than anything else." And this is what I love. This, you know, to be able to be a part of the arts community, to help artists in our own community make a living doing what they feel passionate about is probably the most rewarding thing you could ever do. To do a show like this, I think is very interesting in that you get so many different interpretations of how her work has affected people. The legacy for Emily is around us all the time. And I think the arts in BC is so indebted to the, the foundation that she developed. Of all the people in this part of Canada, in the Northwest Coast, Emily Carr was key, absolutely key, to the spiritual development and evolvement of British Columbia and the Northwest Coast. There's the writings, there's her lifestyle, there's her art, uh, and it's amazing to see how strong an influence she has had on the arts community. We had over 200 submissions, and of that 200, we chose 40 for the show. And there's just such a huge range of talent. You know, shows like this uh, don't really happen very often at commercial galleries. Uh, and so we thought that it was just such a great way to engage the community, uh, to get people involved and into the gallery, obviously, and hopefully do something that's unique, that goes beyond just the usual exhibition sort of programming.